All right, welcome to a brand new one wherein I'm gonna teach you how you could write an infrastructure code for ECR. We've learned how to uh, push an image to Docker Hub, right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write a Terraform code to create an ECR so that you could run it on GitLab pipeline. And this is gonna tell you how to run infrastructure as a code on pipeline, which is really important. And nowadays it's not only about application releases or application deployment, it's also about infrastructure deployment, infrastructure, uh, um, a continuous integration and delivery. And this one, we're gonna set the base for the next one. We're gonna write the infrastructure as a code for uh, ECR, which is Elastic Container Registry, to be deployed on AWS via GitLab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the Terraform code from scratch. I'm going to authenticate to uh, AWS in the next one. So there's a lot of fun session coming up. But in this session, stay tuned if you want to learn how to write ECR code for uh, Terraform code for ECR and then deploy onto GitLab pipeline. I hope this was informative. I'll see you in the demo. Thank you. Right, welcome to a brand new one. So far, what we've been doing, we've been dealing with different type of container registry, be it Docker Hub, GitLab container registry. It's the time we delve into cloud container registry. Now, just like you've got GitLab container and Docker Hub, you've got something called from, uh, from Amazon as well as your container registry. Now, high chances if you're working on any cloud, be it Azure, AWS, which we're gonna discuss in this one, and upcoming as well or GCP high chances 99.99% you would be using the same cloud providers container registry as well so in the session what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn about how to write container registry in Terraform and then we're gonna run the infrastructure pipeline into Gat GitLab it's not about always running the application wherein you build your application and uh, uh, push push and get started with your pipeline it's also about deploying releasing your infrastructure for your pipeline as well we're going to learn we're going to start learning about how to write infrastructure in this one it's going to be really quick and then in the next one we're going to elevate the local code to GitLab pipeline and then we're going to authenticate with AWS and then we're going to see how you can authenticate your GitLab pipeline with AWS let's get started so in terms of the architecture how, how it works is pretty similar the way you have done in github or uh, Bitbucket or you you for that matter we've so far we've been doing is we've been writing our docker file pushing it to docker hub or GitLab container history the same works for Amazon container registry as well you write your code on local you push it to Amazon container registry ECR uh, which tags version manages the images lifecycle and then run the container onto any of the cloud um, any of the serverless system like ECS EKS or for that matter any of the other on-premises system as well that's what we're gonna learn we're gonna learn how to deploy your containers on one of these uh, container service as well could be ECS EKS so that's what's gonna happen is you're gonna understand the end-to-end -end life cycle of an infrastructure management how your application gets deployed it's not gonna be we're gonna spin a bunch of random resources it's gonna leave you over there to learn on your own we're gonna complete the entire workflow and then that's what actually happens in the infrastructure world or uh, with your customers or clients as well and that's the same Thing we're gonna mimic onto our course as well so without further ado let's get started uh, what you need to do is you need to get in a terminal as always and I'm gonna start writing the uh, infrastructure as a code for ECR so what we have doing is so far we've been writing uh, what um, we've gonna be writing our application now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start uh, writing the terraform code so I'm gonna create a new one I'm gonna say AWS infra right and then I'm going to create a brand new folder underneath at ECR. All right, and we're going to write, start writing the code for our ECR. All right, so we're going to start with main.tf. For those who don't know about Terraform, this is going to be quick learn as, as well. Those who know and very well aware about Terraform, feel free to skip this session as well. So first thing first, we get started with provider. We say we're going to write for AWS, uh, for the better understanding, I would request you to get started and write, uh, pull in the Terraform 
ECR documentation as well resource and then you can follow up from here since I work kind of day and day out I don't need to refer to the um, uh, Terraform registry so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start writing the code I'm gonna pull in my terminal yeah so we're writing the code for AWS and the first thing first we get started with the um, region which is let's suppose US1 we're going to create access key and uh, secret key. We're going to pull it from the AWS console. If you haven't got your AWS ready yet, um, make sure that you've got your AWS uh, uh, trial account ready. All right. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, Terraform. And we say uh, we're going to create a backend where it's going to save the state file. Terraform saves some sort of state, right? So it needs to state somewhere. So we're going to say bucket bucket name is going to be we've already created a bucket I'm going to paste in once we log in into our um, AWS console I'm going to say key and key going to be ecr.tf state this is where all the information gets stored all right ecr.tf state and then we got to have a region all right we've got the region region is east us one and perfect now we're going to start writing our code for aws container registry so we are going to say resource all right resource and then we going to say aws ecr repository that's pretty much all and then we're going to say ecr give it any name and then I think we should write this on our own. Uh, let's suppose we're going to call it as GitLab ECR tutorial. All right. And then what are the other parameters? It says image tag mutability. We're going to make it mutable. We wanted to scan the images whenever we push it. So this is one of the cool feature you get from um, uh, ECR that whenever the images are pushed, you kind of set it to true that Whenever I push the image, please uh, scan my images as well. All right, next is uh, I'm going to do a policy. So I'm going to say AWS ECR repository policy. I'm going to write a bunch of things in the policy. Okay, I'm going to say public policy so that it is as good as your public Docker hub. So I'm going to say repository, which is what is a repository? How do you refer this repository? You refer it by AWS dot ECR dot name. That's pretty much simple. And then we're going to start writing the policy. OK, uh, how do we write the policy? We write using JSON code and then since this is a live session, uh, not always fun to watch somebody writing uh, code so you can always watch it into 1.5x speed or yeah whatever works fine for you all right so we're going to start writing the policy so the, the policy uh, is going to be policy equal to json code then we say version version equals to this is you kind of get from pretty easily from the azure register azure uh, um, sorry for that matter aws container registry documentation i'm going to write the statement over here I'm going to pull out the statement. You can always uh, watch it from the Terraform official documentation as well. So I'm going to say statement and I'm going to put a bunch of details over here. It asks for a bunch of things. It asks for SID, effect, principle, action, and it's a allow pull. That's what we want to do, right? We want to allow and then it allows to everyone. Principle means what is the identity it needs to pull the images? Who would pull the image? We're saying that anybody who has got access should be able to pull it. All right. And then uh, we're going to say bunch of get image and get and then don't need this one. We say get download URL for layer. That's what we mentioned. Batch get images and then get repository policy okay you you define bunch of action over here and that's pretty much all and once you're done with it i want to output all right i want to output the repository url repository url and how do you output it aws repository dot 
ecr.url perfect now we are good to run this in the next session what we're going to do is we're going to elevate this code this code no, i don't want to run anything on local because in an actual world you would like to run everything on pipeline in the next session i want you to make sure that you have written this code uh, this code is also available in the gitlab repository so feel free to copy it from there i want you to write this code and i want you to sign up into your aws console as well if you haven't got it yet please do that otherwise it's gonna be a very painful exercise so do that and then come back to the next session we're gonna generate the access key we're gonna generate the secret key and we're gonna generate the backend and then we're gonna elevate everything to the pipeline all right i hope this was informative this was uh, to show you how you could try run uh, terraform code for aws ecr and how easy it is to get started with AWS ECR with Terraform. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.